Hello, uh, today I make a video on uh, a case study when we machine, we do a surface machining. And the video today is about the effect of the tool geometry and the cutting direction on the surface thinness when we machine uh, a shallow surface. Alright, and you can see here on the screen I have two sample parts, uh, one on the left and one on the right, and you can see uh, this both surface, I will mark uh, it uh, in green color, alright, I will mark them in green color, okay, you can see we have uh, two shallow surface here, surfaces here. One is convex and one is concave. You can see the difference, the difference between the, the convex and the concave surface. This is the convex and this is the concave. So I'm gonna make the test on the convex surface, all right? You can see this is a very very shallow surface and this is a round shape with a radius of 500 millimeters yes very large you can see it's almost flat so the, the video today is about the shallow surface yes not all, not all kind of surface just about the shallow surface okay and for the test, I make uh, a rough cutting with a 10 millimeter roughing uh, flat emule. And for finishing, for the finishing test, I use three card tool. First, I use a 12 millimeters flat emule, and the second, I use a 12 millimeter with a two uh, millimeter corner radius, wall and mill, and the third test here. I'm gonna use a 12 millimeter wall and mill, okay. And for the cutting direction, uh, for the tool pad, I use the rest of the tool pad here. That's a kind of parallel tool pad with two of different cutting direction. The first direction is along the surface. Oh yes. And the second direction, second cut direction is um, crossing to the surface. Yes, I call it this crossing the surface and this direction is along the surface. Yes, okay. So, I don't talk much, much about the roughing, just remove the material for the cutting, uh, for the finishing. And first case in the finishing test, I will use a, a flat emule for finishing. Oh, that's so uh, weird, right? Have you ever used a flat emule for uh, finished 3D machining? I will use the flat emule today, so uh, you can see. Uh, how is the surface finish? Normally, people will use a, a bore emu uh, for a finish cut. But today, with the shallow surface, I will use a flat emu and a bore emu for you to see um, if we have any effect on the the parts of a finish. And one important parameter here is the step over. You can see I use a very large, quite large step over for the finish cut. It's a one millimeter for step over, okay. And you can take uh, a look on the machining direction. The tool will move along the surface. Yes. 
And on this side of the surface, I will use another tool, a ball emu, which use uh, often used for finishing surface. And you can see I have a smaller step over, only 0 0.5. So you can see in this tool pad, the number two tool pad, I use a a large step over but in this cutting direction along the surface and on the the four uh, the four uh, tool pad I'm gonna use a 12 millimeter bore mu with a crossing cutting direction and with a step over of 0 0.05 0 0.5 millimeter and I use this the same feed rate for both tool this is um, 20 hundred, 2500 millimeter per minute. So I can take a look here. You can see uh, we have the circle time here. The cutting time here is uh, around two minutes, two minutes and four seconds. And here, because I use a smaller step over and the same feed rate so the cut circle time is uh, 3 minutes and 43 seconds is our more uh, double yes I have double cutting time because of the smaller step over okay and now I'm gonna test this for you to see first I'm finished with a 12 millimeter flat MU and the second I will test with a 12 millimeter 12 millimeter bore MU so you can see the difference. Now you have now, now you can see the difference in uh, cutting time in the circle time and after I do the verification you can see the difference in surface finish. Okay, let's take a look on the verification. Okay, and so you can see here the stock. I will rough the stock with a uh, 10 millimeter roughing M mill. And now I'm uh, gonna finish with a 12 millimeter 12 millimeter flat MU you can see this 20 flat no corner radius not a, a bore MU okay and the second tool pad I will use a uh, I'm gonna use uh, 12 millimeter, 12 millimeter bore and mill. Okay, you can see the difference in cutting direction. This is crossing the surface, and this is along the surface. I will speed it up. Okay, and I zoom it out. Zoom it, zoom in, zoom in. So you can see the difference in surface finish, right? And the blue color here is the surface machined by the flat end mill. And the purple color here is the surface machined by the ball end mill. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see the difference. We take a look from another angle. You can see uh, the surface finished by the flat MU looks smoother. 
then the surface finished by the ball emu why because uh, why we use a, a last step over we use a flat emu but why we have a bad surface finish yes it's because is uh, the cutting direction when you're cutting along this along surface you can get a very very good survey finish when you look yes yes when you look at this direction you can see it looks like we finish the surface with the infinity radius tool so we have very very smooth surface and also when I machine with a 12 millimeter ball mill, uh, bull 12 millimeter with the two millimeter corner radius compared to the 12 millimeter ball mill, we can see the same difference. This is the bull and mill, and this is the ball and mill. See that? Yes, yeah, you can see the difference. I will turn off the color here. You can compare the uh, the surface finish between two surfaces. You can see that. I have a. Uh, make a test cut on a real park and you can see some picture I, I capture uh, in the, the end of the video so it's uh, very important just imagine uh, just imagine you finish this surface with a 20 or 25 uh, flat cutter yes the flat cutter is much more easy uh, easier to to find than a ball emu. It's easy to find a, a 20 mm, 20, 25 millimeter flat emu, but it's difficult to get a a 20 to 25 ball emu. So it's just amazing. I will not use a 12 millimeter. I use a 25 millimeter flat emu. Okay, and I can use a very very large step over, for example, five millimeter. Wow. Okay, three millimeter for step over, like this, compared to one millimeter. Now we can see different. You can see the cut. The circle time now is only one minute and twenty second. It's very very fast compared to this one. Nearly four minutes. And just imagine with a very very large part, you can save a lot of cutting time. Okay. This is the twenty millimeter cutter compared to the 12 millimeter bore emu
there's a mark here I'm not sure what is it but you can see a different here so if this surface is not critical you can use a very very flat MU with a uh, very last step over you machine this and finish with some uh, sandpaper that save a lot of time then uh, polish this surface yeah you can see yeah that's all for today uh, I just uh, forget to, to talk about the concave surface because this is uh, a concave surface so you cannot use you are unable to use a flat MU here or a bull MU here because um, you cannot have a clean cut you can see if you use a flat tool here you cannot cut completely so this only work well on a convex surface for concave surface you can use a, a bull or a flat amio but very very small radius compared to the surface surface radius if the surface is not critical yes but just make sure uh, it's better when you use um, on a convex surface yes and avoid using this technique on a concave surface okay that's all for today. Goodbye for now. Bye-bye.